Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through and combing through the Tears of the Kingdom final trailer. Now I've already seen it beforehand, so it's not a reaction. It's more of an analysis, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm a huge Zelda fan, but I'm not the most lore smart <laughs> of the series, you know what I mean? Like, I know I've played so many of the games, but there are some enemy characters or you know plot points where you know i'll forget an enemy name or you know so <laughs> there'll be those moments <laughs> but um we're just gonna be going through and i was thinking about making this video you know how i normally make these analysis videos where i would just kind of talk about you know the highlights of whatever happened in that trailer and just put it up on screen but this time I thought, you know what, let's just kind of go through these clips, you know, that are stitched together and let's just see what we can find. And if there, if I miss anything, which I will, uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you guys find. And let's just have a chat down there. Let's just get excited for this because this trailer, um, just, just to kind of give you my thoughts, I love this trailer. Um, it's up there in Breath of the Wild's, um, you know, big trailer, you know, that iconic trailer that kind of showed off the game's cinematics and gameplay elements, and it was just like this big showcase, even though it was like smartly paced and it was super quick, but like it just got enough of the content in there. That's how this trailer was. Um, I don't know if it's quite as good, but it's definitely up there. And so, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get to it. These are small clips in a three-minute trailer. Hopefully, this doesn't go on for too long. But uh, let's let's do it. I'm still excited because I I wish I could have reacted to this, but I was at work. So yeah, we're just gonna be just combing through. Let's see what we got here. Is Alan Numa gonna show up? Okay, cool. Don't get me wrong. I want to see him. Um, actually. I'm changing the quality. I'm changing the quality. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that shows kind of nice. I, and the music. <laughs> the music is so good. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. Oh, gosh, I can't wait <laughs> to just explore these islands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love the yellow the yellow vegetation the trees and stuff i just love that golden um look that the islands seem to have yeah he's fighting a little enemy down there and i love these these uh these zonine machinery i don't remember what it's called uh, it's already starting Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look this stuff up. I don't even care. Constructs. It is a ranger. So here we have... <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't just forget this creature's name. So here we have this construct. Uh, a ranger construct. Whoa. Can't believe I remembered that. And he's just over there chopping down trees. Also, love the angler. So good. Mm. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, honestly. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, and of course, there's rubble down here, and there's those um, spiral structures. Of course, it's missing the green spiral, which either means it's completed or it's. I would say it's probably completed because you would want the player to see the green spiral, um, you know, to grab their attention. So we still don't really know what those are. Like in my head, they're like maybe, I mean, they're like shrines. They're in the places of shrines, um, and especially in a lot of this stuff. But are they shrines or are they just like ways to go underground or are they shrine like i think they're shrine like because shrines was a big deal 
but they're in like the same they're in similar locations i get i think some of them aren't quite in similar locations but i don't know we still don't know that's the thing about this trailer we still don't know a lot about this game and yet this get this trailer showed a ton of things oh man i just i just want to play this game also the draw distance is phenomenal like it it's so much better um, so yeah, Hateno Village. We got some mushrooms over here. Oh man. Yeah, I think that's like the major differences is like, um, the mushrooms here and there. And it looks like there's even a shop that's dedicated to mushrooms. And of course there's people wearing mushroom hats. The style, the craze is going around. It's very trendy, I guess. Link <laughs> might be able to get a mushroom hat. Um, I'm calling it. He's getting mushroom hat. Okay, and as we can see down there, Link is just chilling. He's just strolling through this place. Um, and of course this is, this was near Hyrule Castle. And it looks like it's, people are starting to settle down. And what's weird is we haven't seen any guardians. So are guardians just gone? Like what, what's going on there? I guess guardians just, they just might be gone. Uh, because, I mean, there were, in this area in breath of the wild guardians were everywhere so the fact that you know people feel safe enough to just like set up camp you know must not have guardians lurking around and so i did see on the website before we get get into this clip that they straight up said like oh yeah there's gonna be new towns and all this stuff so is that a town or is that just like a little settlement like is that is that just a small sliver of like you know the camera's pointing this way and there's more behind like what what would that classify as and don't get me wrong i want to see more of the towns i want to see terry town i hope terry town here's a off tangent thing i want terry town to be like this huge like metropolis like i want it to be like this huge uh city that everyone gathers around with because in breath of the wild you create this small town um completely diverse with all these different races you know coming from all these different areas and it's like this cool melting pot in breath of the wild and so to see that like grow because you know people are wanting to move there because Terrytown is freaking awesome and so they go there and like I just want to see Terrytown just like this bustling city. <laughs> I just, I want to see that. I want to see that so bad. But anyways, this is by Kakarika Village, if I'm not mistaken. We haven't seen too much of Kakarika Village, but there is this structure and it looks like uh, Kakarika Villagers are, you know, starting to kind of build up to it and kind of investigate. It, it looks like the structure is just like laying down. Oh, is this from Hyrule Castle? Like did, did chunks of it like fall down? <laughs> I just see Hyrule Castle over there. Okay, so I don't know what the structure is then. <laughs> um, yeah, because Hyrule Castle is over there. I don't know what that is. And of course we see another spiral thing, but this time it has the green. So is this not completed then? Seems like it. But it's in, uh, it, I think it's the same spot as the shrine, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yes, it is. I think. I'm trying to look at, it's a little blurry. There's more of the structure down here uh, near the town. I'm trying to see if Kakarika Village, like, okay, there's still, there's some other structures uh, that I, that I don't recognize here. So maybe they added on to more of Kakarika. I don't recognize this area. But I assume it's similar to Oh. Uh the cloud. Anyways, the, the the big storm cloud, which I think we see later in the trailer. And of course we have Linaru? The desert. <laughs> oh to go back to that, <laughs> cause cause that was a freaking like is this a dungeon? Is this a dungeon? I think it is. I think this is a straight up dungeon. And I'm hoping to see more traditional dungeons. I hope we see 
any kind of traditional dungeon dungeon in this game. Yeah, I think it's a traditional dungeon. Let me know what you think, cause. And then there's the villagers going like, what in the heck is going on? Um, off to the side here, we can see what, another one of those platforms. We've been seeing these platforms all around Hyrule. It's like, what are these? Cause they have a sign point. They have a signpost out front. It, I think it's going to be like, you know, it has. It's going to have materials there so you can add on or you know you can build from. But I also think that's going to be like houses or homes you can build. I don't know. I think there's going to be some kind of settlement building aspect or you know town building aspect to this game because I mean think about Terrytown again. Terrytown was one of the biggest side quests. It's probably the biggest side quest. Most memorable, for that matter, um, in Breath of the Wild. And I think Nintendo knows that. And I think they're going to build upon that in some form. So, I think they're going to do so. And, as we see later in the trailer, uh, Link carries, you know, people across the, the plains. Or, you know, across the field. So, like... Are we going to be transporting people to different towns and stuff like that? Like, it just brings up so many questions. And I love that Link seems to be more... Seems to be interacting more with the NPCs of this world. Because in Breath of the Wild, there was, a, there was a disconnect between the NPCs and the world that was going on around them. My goodness. So, yeah. Um, cool stuff. I, yeah, I want to know more about those platforms. I think this is I think this is either Ganon transforming into de demise or like gaining more ability from demise or this is just straight up demise either way like it's very similar <laughs> like they're they're both they're both Ganon right or you know they, they both come from the demise curse I guess demise was the curse but Yikes. Zelda glows in both her, like, you know, her body, but also, as we see here, her hand. The Triforce. Let's make the Triforce a thing in this game, Nintendo. Let, let's, let's just do that. Wouldn't that be crazy if we just, I don't know, make the main symbol, like, t integral to <laughs> the game? I don't know. And then we see here the sand dunes, but we also see some sinkholes, which, you know, in, in previous Zelda games, I mean, obviously some sinkholes were, in fact, dangerous and they could kill you. But what if this just took you to like an underground layer or something, you know? I could definitely see that, or at least one of them, you know? Maybe that's one of the puzzles, like you have to pick which one to go down. Um, also, we see this green thing out in the, in the right. I don't know what that is, but it's green. That's for sure. And also, we see these ancient markings here. I, we still don't really know what the... I mean, Zonai markings, but of what? Okay, so now that we're here, now that we are here, could this be in Death Mountain? Or at Death Mountain. He looks like he's underground either way. Also, like, this straight up... Now that I'm looking at it, it straight up looks like a du another dungeon. <laughs> like, look at these structures. This has got to be a dungeon. But it uh, like a dungeon in Death Mountain or something. Oh. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, there's other boats. There's other ships. What is this? <laughs> what actually is this? Uh, there's this bubble. Okay. Now, I don't think that diving and underwater exploration is in the game. However, this makes a pretty good argument for that actually being in the game. Cause like he jumps in the water so is he gonna be like floating back up to the to the surface of it and just be chilling 
Or is he going to like stay in there and like do something, you know? Like what's that green thing? Looks like an energy thing or I don't know, this is straight up Mario Galaxy. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, it, it I really hope that you can do underwater exploration, but I feel like they would have shown that off in the trailer. But then again, like look at this. Like he's in the water. So like is he just gonna float back up and that's gonna be it? Or is he gonna have control in the sphere? I really hope so. That would definitely Oh, he does kind of float up. No. <laughs> No, Link. <sighs> yeah, I remember this part of the trailer. Okay, hang on. Also, I know there's better ways of doing this. Um, okay, yeah, we're, we'll, it's okay. First off, this is Sonic as all heck. <laughs> Why is the Breath of the Wild team straight up going, looking at Sonic and be like, man, Link needs rails to grind on. Link needs lasers <laughs> as obstacles in his path. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it. I wonder where this is. Is it underground? It seems like it's underground. At first I thought I was in a floating island, but I don't think we've seen a... This goes quite a long ways. I think this is underground. Maybe. It's so hard to tell, but I love how we can't tell. And of course he has a wingsuit. He has a wingsuit. Does that, like, negate paragliding? Or is that in addition to paragliding? And is this part of a suit that you get? Like, you just get a suit? Or is this just... Um, this looks like it's in the Death Star. The only reason I say that is because of the big hole. But also, like we see later on in the trailer, it just straight up looks like... <laughs> the Death Star. I think that's where this is located. The thing is, I don't know why he's turning this. Like, what's the puzzle here exactly? Also, as we see here, there's a there's a machine that gives you an item. Now, we've seen this machine in previous trailers. Um, I believe it even has an icon to associate to the machine. Like, a, I believe it's the item shop. Correct me if I'm wrong. Icon on the on the mini map for this, but it's not like a shop, right? It's like a dispenser. And at first I was like, oh, maybe this is how you get bombs, you know, because they kind of look like bombs. But I remembered that uh, the Hanox has like a green orb, and one of the trailers beforehand has a green orb around its neck, and I think that's what these are. And I think they're like energy capsules. You know, they, they just produce energy. And so I think that's what they're there for. It's for the puzzle, for this particular puzzle. It's just going to dispense this energy crystal. And then you're going to do that. At least that's what I think. I don't know. What do you think? Also, this, this segment flew by. Literally. <laughs> but also, like, where is this at? Is this one of the, like, huge mazes that we you know saw in breath of the wild i don't know where this is but this flew by also i can't remember were you able to like spin around um weapons on the, on your horse or is that new or is he like charging for an attack i don't remember i would, I would have to go back and look especially for a spear like that like how does that work also, as we see here, um, the, of course, the Bacoblins have different headgear, which we know of. And, you know, you can attach, you can fuse those to your weapons now. But, as we see here, there's actually people fighting. There's people fighting. Like, look at that. And it's not just, because in Breath of the Wild, there's people, or I should say, you would encounter some moments where it would, um, where you'd find an NPC wandering the Hyrule. And they would, you know, be fighting a Bacoblin or two. Was there multiple enemies that they fought? No, I, I don't know. They would fight a Bacoblin or something. And you would go to rescue them and they would give you like an item or something like that. 
Well, here, there's multiple, like, there's a group. There's a, there's just like a little squad here. What the heck? <laughs> so, are we just gonna have, are we just gonna be like defending, you know, towns or defending uh, settlements with these villagers or with these people of Hyrule? And if so, like, does that happen often? Do you get an alert or, or, or is Link just here at the right time? Or what is this? Like, that's so cool. I love that the NPCs are more, are more um, integral, or they feel more part of the world than they did in Breath of the Wild. And of course, this is the elevator. I believe it's, it was in one of the trailers beforehand as well, where Link was kind of like interacting with this Guardian-esque machine. Of course, it didn't show the head of the Guardian, but it had like the Guardian tentacles. Um, and it, so it kind of looks like it came from this. Of course, he's just... This guy. Is he a Zonai? That's what I'm wondering. He looks like a Zonai. Because the Zonai, you know, carved those dragon head statues. We don't know what the Zonai look like. I think this is it. I think this is what the Zonai look like. And as we can see in the background, it looks like... It looks straight up like your companions that we see later on i don't know if we know this zonai like if he's like a pre-existing character or not i can see this being like link if the curse like consumes him like is that going to be like is it going to be like a transformation kind of thing going on i don't i i don't want to get into that necessarily like this is straight up zonai which looks really cool I actually really dig this design. It really lingers on that shot too. Oh, I I watched the trailer. I'm like, yep, that's that's the golem looking thing. Yep, golem thing. Um, I think this is up in the sky island. In the background, it's kind of weirdly dark. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but... Also, what the heck is going on here? What what story element brings you here? Like, what brings you here, you know? Yeah, Hyrule Castle is floating in midair or whatever. But, like, what... Why, Link? Why are you... Zelda. And then Zelda... And she's in new clothing. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. And so Link has... I'm trying to think now. Is it his left arm that has the curse mark? Yes. Is it? No, it's his right hand. Okay, so... Okay, so... That's before... So that's, that scene is probably at the beginning of Zelda. Also, this is straight up like Zonai tech, which looks super clean. I love the look of this. I hope we explore more of this. Um, we this kind of stuff. Knight, and that legendary sword he carries. Also, I Our like the voice line acting. of defense will be Link. But yeah, so that's Link's right hand, which, you know, we know has the curse mark. And he doesn't have the curse mark. That's probably a scene at the beginning of the game. You know, he gets his master sword. He's like, okay, Zelda, let's go to the underground caves, whatever. Um, let's, just, let's just wake up Ganon, you know? It's getting a little too quiet around Hyrule. Let's just wake him up. No big whoop. Um, this is probably the... I don't know if it's the Zonai character that we saw previously, but it's a. I'm guessing it's a Zonai. Yeah, because he's got the he's got the hand. Oh, what does he have on his hand? Speaking of. But yeah, he has the similar um, arm as Link does, so he's got to be a Zonai. Is he the Zonai that helped Link? Probably. And then Zelda's with him, and she has the Zonai gear on. Link. Lit. <laughs> Lit. 
yeah, that's all I have to say. Yeah, what the heck is with this bird, dude? I just, we still don't know what the bird does. Like, it's not a vehicle, is it? Like, how does this bird move? <laughs> is what I'm wondering. I don't understand. It, it bothers me <laughs> how much we don't understand this bird. Because we've seen it a couple times now. Also lit. I, I don't know if this shield would... This shield would probably hurt. But I love that. A, a shield attached to a sword. That's cool. I like that. Also, that's a pretty look, cool looking sword. Here's the Death Star. I believe that's where Link was um, previously with the little gumball machine. Or it could not be. Looking back at it, kind of looks like it goes deeper. But then again, if Link were to, you know, portion, you know, or position the ball in such a way, then it would match the other scene, so... What is this? This looks like a Goron. I think that's a Goron. Like, straight up. Like, what else would that be? And we see, like... It looks like some Gorons in the back. Again, I know there's easier ways. I just forgot how to go frame by frame. But it looks like there's Gorons in the back. So I'm wondering, is this an enemy that acts like a Goron? Or is this a Goron that you're, like, fighting to, like, prove yourself or whatever? Hang on, he does bounce up. Let's. Either way, it's a ball. <laughs> I think it's a ball. Okay, that's like a little trampoline that he goes up with the Rito kid. I don't know his name. But he looks like he's older. And look, there's flying ships! <laughs> what is it with these ships? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the the idea of floating ships, like of flying ships. I don't know why. I hope Link, oh, you know what you could do? Attach, you know, make it your own, make it your vehicle. I would, I wouldn't mind cruising around in this ship. And as we see here, um, you and you know, people saw this are like, oh, wow, you can transport people that's so cool which it is and that opens a ton of possibilities of not only side quests but also like like the idea earlier of like building settlements you know sending people to those settlements like what why why are you transporting these people are you doing it for funsies are they your crew are they you know like are they are you guys going to like a dungeon together and you're just like all right i gotta bring my crew so like what what is going on here they look like normal npcs though like they look normal like normal civilians but i don't know i don't know um but but more so like obviously this is crafted like you crafted this but it looks like a normal like this would have been in the game without all the green goo um it's only because of the green stuff that we're like oh yeah link made this but otherwise it looks completely normal as we see here, it's attached to the to Epona, or you know, attached to the horse, which looks very much so like Epona. Um, which is something interesting. We weren't able to attach things to Epona like this in previous or in the previous title. So what else can you attach to <laughs> to Epona? That sounds bad, but <laughs> what else can you attach to Epona? That, that opens up a whole nother set of possibilities. Like, if Epona can drag this, what's the limit? Can Epona, or can your horse, drag other things? <laughs> like, you know, like, how does that work? Or does it have to be something with wheels? Yeah. Also, we see him direct, redirect that. Cool. Also, what is that? Is that one of those octopus? Yeah, that's one of those octopus. Brother. <laughs> There's so much to go through. Um, and I know I'm missing a bunch, but I I'm getting the main stuff, at least. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. 
I'm just trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to place my mind at where this could be. <laughs> and, and so it looks like the rocket was attached to a shield. There's just a rocket lying around. Why? <laughs> Why is there a rocket just lying around? I did not expect this to be something that was lying around. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. There's not much, like, can you, is it just, do you just go up with it? Or can you, like, you know, fly around? It looks like you go straight up. Now we see here that Link is going Super Mario. And he's just... Okay, hang on. Um, so yeah, he's going, he's, he has that low gravity, which obviously isn't normal, but what's even weirder is that you see these like little, and again, I know, sorry, I know it's pixelated, but there's like these little particles everywhere. I wonder if, if those particles mean that the, the gravity around Link is suddenly lowered. You know? Or is this an ability? I don't think this is an ability per se. I think this has to do with the area that you're in. But these particles are around this area. So maybe it has something to do with those particles. Or it's like, oh, you can only do it on these platforms. Which I can't wait. That looks so cool. We see minecarts. Is this in the Death Mountain section? Or what we, what I think is Death Mountain? I think so. I think this is definitely in the, uh, you know, later on in that section. Because Link's wearing the same stuff. Not that that says anything, but. And this looks fun, dude. He's just straight up Donkey Kong his way. And this. Oh, we see, we see a new outfit. I think. Yeah, seems like it. He has a new headgear, that's for sure. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, and so it kind of makes me wonder, first off, what is with this arm? <laughs> like, is Link controlling that arm or what is he doing? He's controlling the vehicle, for sure. But is he con it, I don't think he's controlling the arm, though. I think the arm is just... Well, hang on. He starts up. What is going on? That scene, that's <laughs> it's so goofy looking. He has a freaking thwomp just rolling around. <laughs> like, is that going to do a lot of damage? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This, I at first I thought this was like one big stone block that he just put on a cart. No, instead it's, um, you know, it's different slaps glued together. Wow. Yeah, the creativity's gonna be crazy. Okay, as we... Jeez. Goodness. <laughs> this looks so pixelated. Um, I think that's the same iron horse armor that we've seen before. Um, but that's new gear for Link. That looks dope. <laughs> that looks so sick. Um, I'm not too big on the horns, per se. Um, but the rest of his clothes... Oh, yeah. And uh, and he has a ruby on his arrow tip, which looks so goofy. But it's probably going to be a fire arrow of some kind. I hope, because there's other ways that you could probably make your arrow out to be fire. I hope it has like a different effect other than just fire fire or at least you know like a different spread like this arrow when it shoots out it's a bigger what's the word it has a bigger impact when it lands rather than you know something else that can catch the arrow on fire i hope i hope it has stuff like that also link straight up just shoots this thing which okay now that we're looking at it it's glued on this thing is glued on did link glue this on and then, you know, activated with his arrow, which these batteries and these Zonai technologies seem to start up with kinetic force. So, you know, stuff like hitting it with a stick or, or shooting an arrow at it. 
um, turns it on. So like, but it looks like it's glued on. So did Link make this and just like step out and just shoot it? Or was this already here? It's very strange. Oh, but as we see, I think those are wheels attached to one another. And then of course lasers. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's uh let's move on. Okay, he comes out of a freaking portal. For one. <laughs> for one, he comes out of a freaking portal. I think this is in that storm cloud that we've seen in other trailers. And this one. I think this Oh wow, it's super dark. <laughs> I didn't realize how dark it was. Hang on. I think it'd be better if I turn on the lights. I know the lighting's not great, but we're we're rolling with it. Um, but yeah, he's coming out of a portal. I think this is in the storm cloud. He looks sick. <laughs> he looks so intimidating. This is probably a you know a boss fight that you can do with the Rito kid. I forgot his name. Please don't be. <laughs> okay, and then something happens here. Which, it, it's just a cut, you know, like it. I don't know what that is. And then Zelda is chilling with a tear. She has I know why I am here. cried in her hands. It's something only. So, yeah, that's. That's the tears of the kingdom, I'm assuming. Which makes me even more confused when they said, oh yeah, the title spoils the game. Does it? <laughs> We're just now seeing the tears of the kingdom. I don't know. I can do. Okay, what happens here? Okay, that's Ganon spitting out mouths. And this is, this is Skeleton Ganon spinning out, it seems like. Yeah, that's Skeleton Ganon spitting it out. Maybe this is where he transforms, or, you know, he just spits it out and then Hyrule Castle goes up, whatever. And, oh, that was a nice transition. So I think there was two cuts there, and this is a different scene. Could be wrong. Look at the antlers on these boys. Look at the antlers on these boys. Also, this is where Revival. Link gets... And the birth of his new world. Yeah! Dude, Ganon looks so cool. So cool. Oh my goodness. The fact that we have a villain again like a villain with a face and a what seems like a personality like a humanoid actual villain dude he he looks so good i'm so glad ganon ganondorf is finally back so glad also people think that the tear is on his forehead i kind of agree i think something's up with his forehead that the game's just not <laughs> kind of I, I can't tell something's going on also what the heck is that dude <laughs> what the heck is that I love it the, so they're introducing so many new enemy types and I love it not just color changes of course we see bokoblins and all this stuff but like all these crazy enemies and this looks like not like a normal enemy but like it's not like a it's not like a boss it seems like it's like a mini boss at the very least like uh like like we see um Hanoxes and stuff just around the world maybe this is like that where it's like oh in some islands this creature will be there i don't know but it's so cool okay let's go yeah Okay, we gotta go back to that. Wait, will it go back? No. Wow, that's much quicker than I thought. Okay, let's go! Who is this? <laughs> Some people are saying Zelda because she has the same tier and she's kind of dressed the same. But is this Zelda or is this just a new character? Or is this Hylia? I 
quit doing wish I knew. <laughs> but she has like the 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 Zelda light, right? Like she has the Zelda magic. This could be Zelda. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This could be Zelda like reverting to her Hylia state, you know, because she's the reincarnate of Hylia. This could be that. I mean, she even has like the similar tears and stuff. Tears of the King. I'm kidding. <laughs> but like, she's not a Zonai. Because what well, what that that uh that person that we saw earlier, that's a Zonai, right? At least I'm sold on it being a Zonai. I don't think she's shooting this laser. But maybe she could be. I don't know. If she's in that form, if this supposed Zelda is in that form, she could probably do stuff like this. But I don't know. That's pretty OP, though. Also, we see more of the champions. And then we get to here. Okay. Can you have a squad? Is this just like some of those trailer tricks where, you know, you're going, you know, these people are already standing there or they get, you know, the NPC models and they just line them up and they're like, oh, this would make a great shot in the trailer. Put Link there. It looks like a squad. He looks like he's going to war. Or is he actually like with these people and they're just like part of his team, part of his crew? I don't know, but I like the guy with the bucket on his head. Okay. You are not also Sidon straight up helps you. Is this a certain segment? Like, is this only for certain segments that you know you'll have partner characters help you, like the champions and all that, or can they just go with you? Can they just follow you around, both on Sky Islands and not? Because this is definitely on Sky Islands. So how did Sidon get here? First off, second off. Is this a story thing? Like, is that why he's here? Or did he come up with you somehow? I don't know. <laughs> I, I would love to know. I would love to have companions with you to make this less of a lonely adventure. Because Breath of the Wild, that was, that was great for that. Here, I would love for people to tag along with you. And it seems like that's going to be the case. You know, you have people you can transport. You have people who can fight with you. So that's really awesome. Not alone. And you are not alone. She even says, like, you are not alone. <laughs> you dang right he's not alone. He should not be alone fighting Ganon. <laughs> but you are not alone. Link. Also, they kind of dabbled, and we can go back. Oh, also, perfect timing. Sidon has a tear. The champions seem to have tears, which is really cool. Also, we haven't seen the Goron champion, which I'm okay with because I didn't really care too much about the Goron champion. <laughs> I just thought he was kind of annoying, but... And we have a Gleok, which, okay, you can see one of them has an eye, so I'm guessing the eye is going to open and close, and that's going to be a weak point. And it looks like a boss, like a straight-up boss. Just so cool. <laughs> so cool. You are our final I thought it was gonna be one of those um overworld enemies that you fought against. Like I thought there was gonna be multiple Gleox. But it seems like that's not the case. Maybe it's just like a boss of something. Which is cool. Also, Zelda has the Master Sword. Um what gives? <laughs> Let's go back. You are off. It's hard to tell if the Master Sword is broken or not. I'm assuming it is. And she's holding it, but how did she get it? Link would have had to given it to her. Or is there some kind of magic going on where she has the Master Sword, but Link doesn't? Uh, I don't know. But she's dressed, you know, the way that, that she is. You know, she's dressed in that Zonai gear. So this is not like a, you know, at the beginning of the game. I don't know, but she has the Master Sword, which is weird. Is she playable? <laughs> is she playable? I want her to be, but I don't know. I don't know. I would love her to be, but I think they would have shown off that she was playable in this trailer. Final hope. I still hope that she's... I still hope that she is a playable character. 
That just would be so cool. And then we see we see Ganon on the right. The you know the mule on the back. Link. The mule on the back. You must find me. Okay, Zelda, uh Hyrule's pretty big. You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than that. Alright, we're we're gonna stop there. We comb through. I know there's some details here and there that I probably missed. That's where you come in. Let me know down in the comments below what you saw, what you gathered from that trailer, and what you were able to pick apart and dissect, because there is so much going on in this trailer. And there's so many more questions that people have, while also some of those questions or older questions were answered, so that's really nice. But we still don't know everything about this game. There's still so much to learn, and that's so exciting. That is so exciting. This trailer, the music, the presentation, the pacing, it was all fantastic. It really showed what you need to be excited for. Like, it gave you reasons to be excited. And I think that's what a lot of people needed, including myself. Because I was going to get the game no matter what. But, and I was, I was, I was you know, excited to play because it's a sequel to one of my favorite games. But... Um, um, you know, before this trailer, I was like, yeah, fusing t fusing weapons, that's cool. Building vehicles, that's that's pretty neat. You know, all that stuff. This trailer, it gave us context. It gave us ideas. It gave us reasons to be excited for this game. And we got that. We got that in spades. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this final trailer. And are you excited for the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.